Let's move on to the structural design patterns. The first of the structural design patterns that we are going to talk about is the proxy. The definition of proxy says an object representing another object. I have a debit card. Whenever I make a transaction in using a debit card, where does the money go from? The money goes either into my bank account or out of my bank account. So whenever I'm swiping my debit card somewhere, what I'm doing is I'm using the debit card as a proxy for my bank account. So the actual object is the bank account and the debit card is kind of a proxy for it. So whenever I make a purchase, I swipe it. What is actually happening is the money is deducted from my bank account. Debit card is a proxy for it. Similar to that, in programming, you have a lot of interactions with remote objects. Let's say I'm talking to an object which is in a distributed system somewhere outside my system. What we would do in such cases is create a proxy object. So what the proxy would do is proxy would take care of all the external communication. As far as I am concerned, I would be talking to the proxy as if it's something which is very near to me. The good example for that are the EJB home and remote interfaces. A proxy is basically an object representing another object. Proxy hides the complexity in communicating to the real object. Thanks for joining more than a million students who are learning from us. At In 28 Minutes, we defined a learning roadmap for Java and front-end developers. We created more than 25 courses covering all the topics that you are seeing on the screen. There are four things you can do to make best use of these courses. Number one is Udemy. You'll find a link in the description of the video to our Udemy profile. We are teaching a lot of courses on Udemy and most of them are free. Number two, visit our website www.in28minutes.com. You'd find tons of information including how you can register for our trainings and the link to Udemy and our GitHub code as well. Number three, visit our GitHub repository. With more than 20 repositories covering varied examples, it's a comprehensive source of information and code. Last but not the least, you'll find a set of discount codes for all our Udemy courses in the description as well. Feel free to use them. Good luck from the team here at In28Minutes, your destination for high quality step-by-step -step courses.